Hey, what's up guys? This is Daniel with DRG TV. We're here with James at Fun Sport Bike. They're gonna let us borrow these awesome e-bikes to go take a look at some murals downtown Modesto with our very own Phasm. So uh, if you guys haven't stopped by to check out Fun Sport Bike, stop by there in the corner of Bridgemore and Oakdale. Eventually we're gonna be doing an episode about the cycling community, so keep an eye out for it. When you pedal this thing, make sure you hold on pretty good. Um, the first kick is kind of, really? it'll give you a little something. So make sure you hold on pretty good. So once you engage the motor, you got two options. You can keep pedaling, or once you engage, you can hit this lever. Yeah. That thing will hold you at 20 miles an hour, constantly 30 miles, okay? <laughs> Kicking in, yep, there you go. <laughs> it's the best thing ever, best job. All right, guys, here we are. We're loaded. Check these things out. So we got a bet going on that I'm going to beat Aaron over to uh, downtown Modesto. So we'll see what happens. But come take a look at Fun Sport Bike. They're letting us borrow these awesome bikes. There's no better way to look at Modesto but on two wheels, guys. So we'll see you downtown. chimpanzee everybody's been talking about for the last what and when did you do this it's about three weeks old three weeks ago yeah. so tell us why um so this building is uh newly purchased by a uh video marketing company uh -huh. and um the owner had been kind of watching what i was doing for a while and he asked me to come you know like tell him what i would paint on on his wall so um i watched his highlight video or their highlight video um, I looked at their branding and their colors it's very 70s and I just said hey you know we sat down I said hey this is gonna sound crazy but I want to paint a chimpanzee with a Hawaiian <laughs> shirt on awesome. and uh, aviator mirrored glasses you know and hold the banana with your 70s stripes going in the background and uh, he said hmm okay you know I pretty much was cool with it and I think his employees were a little shocked too uh -huh. but I think after seeing the results and the response from the community, yeah, I think he's he's stoked. You yeah. know, like that that he, you know, allowed. It's definitely that to got happen. some noise for sure, and you yeah. can't help like the first time I passed by and I saw it, I smiled, and it just has throughout the week when I was going on my uh, on my social feed, I started seeing people put pictures up, yeah, with their kids, and I thought that was that was pretty amazing. It goes back to what you know, you know, Aaron Phasm. You know, if it was up to him, he'd paint every single wall in this town, right? Well, not everybody, but yeah, <laughs> pretty like. close, pretty close, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's a, it's a, it's a good stop. So we're in down, we're in, the, we're in front of Downey. Um, so if, Downey if you, Avenue. Downey Avenue. So Downey Avenue. If you haven't seen it, uh, come and take a look at it, or tag a friend that needs to come down and take a look at this. Yeah, thing. if you need a smile, come look at this ridiculous chimpanzee, <laughs> and bring your kids. <laughs> All right, man. So where to next? Uh, let's head over to Church Key Restaurant. Let's go.
Hey, all right, guys. So we're here at Church Keys. Uh, we're in front of uh, Phasm's, uh, some more Phasm's art. If you guys haven't been down here, you guys gotta come down, man. Their California bites are the best. Oh, dude, I definitely hit up their bacon and eggs pizza, and their cowboy cob salad is like my go-to for sure. So, so you have you have a uh, podcast, and I've heard a couple of the episodes on your podcast. And whenever you ask people what their favorite place to eat, this, this place gets name dropped a lot. Yeah, yeah, that one, this one shows up a lot on that answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a, it's a downtown location, so it's perfect. You come down to get the bite, get a bite to eat, and then head out and go to a gala show or something like that. So uh, this is our back patio, as yeah. you can see. A lot of people miss the back patio, but it's a cool spot. You're kind of like surrounded three dimensionally by art. Yeah, so, and he, and you had a couple pieces here. Was it two or three of these walls that you did? Yeah, yeah, several, three, three different walls are mine. Uh, this one back here. Um, what, what did they want to accomplish back here with the walls? Um, Wait, what was their goal to get? This is going to sound weird, but I think it was more of like mimosa moms. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right. like, uh, work, you know, like, moms who just wanted to like have a mimosa on Saturday and that's kind of like the vibe going on back here I mean I, I definitely get that vibe from it I do too man yeah yeah for sure yeah. so there you have it mom Steve you guys are kind of want to come down on the weekend he, Aaron did this just for you guys mimosa moms right? yeah unmarried men are okay too we'll allow that <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. So, um, but around the whole the whole patio, it's just all colored, which is amazing. We came down here in bikes. They let us ride our bikes through. But there's also an entrance in the back as well. They come in and and have some uh, have some food out here. The menu is amazing. So, all right. So, uh, talk about the walls. Okay. So this one right here is uh, one of mine. The letters were designed by a gal from Australia. She goes by Fluoro. Uh, she was in the last graffiti battle. Um, these yellow walls are mine, the bird's mine, the letters over here are mine. This is a rebuker, um, Muse from LA. The butterflies are mine, and then the orange stuff over there is by my friend Yoax from Rotterdam. He was actually visiting, and I had him come do that. And yeah, that's what we got going on right now. Awesome, so next stop, where are we going? We are going to... The Phasm Creative Battle Wall. Awesome. And we, gotta, Street. and we gotta talk about that because it's coming again. It's what we do. Demo Walls is October 2nd through 5th. So it's a battle. You got how many artists? Do you we have, have seven artists coming. We've got one from Argentina. We've got one from Toronto, New York, Austin, Texas, Sacramento, Modesto. So we're gonna do it again. A bunch of art and create this kind of like art alley. Uh, over there off of 10th Street. So we're gonna go and you're gonna check, take a look at the one that they did not too long ago, but it's pretty amazing when you when you have seven artists from all over the world come down and you just take all the barriers out and just say, do something amazing, they, they freaking deliver every single time. So we'll see you guys over there. Yeah. All right, cool, we're in spot number three now. We're at the, uh, the Phasm Creative Battle Wall Six. Yeah. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Right, awesome. <laughs> and we're on the uh, we're almost on the corner of 10th Street and uh, I. Yep. So. Yeah, at the at the Chartreuse man. Muse Art Gallery. So this was a uh, basically a competition where um, seven artists came. We flew them in, and we had them do whatever they wanted to do. Um, we've got an artist from Korea, San Francisco. New Zealand, New Zealand, Sacramento, Texas, and Guatemala, um, who all competed. I kind of hand chose these artists based on like their previous work and also knowing their, um, their work ethic and a little bit about them. I have a relationship with them. And um, so yeah, they were just kind of given free reign to do whatever they want. And I had so many people ask me like, what are they allowed to paint and what are the parameters? And I said, no, there are none. Like we really won't need to see what an artist can come up with out of their own head. Yeah, so the cool thing too, the, we got another wall right across, which is gonna be the location for the next mural festival, mural festival. Domo Walls. Yeah, so we're just, gonna put a link of it in the description so you can take a look. And, and what are the dates again? October 2nd through 5th. So the guys will be painting this wall and the alley wall back there. Um, the second through the fourth are the kind of the painting days. The fourth is the Friday, first Friday night market. Um, 
It'll be music, right? Music, DJs, beer, games for dance, kids. Dance, people break dancing, dancing man. It's all kinds of be stuff. All, it's gonna be all kinds of fun. And then Saturday we'll do a little bike tour, like a bike crawl and mural tour, kind of like what we're doing today, but with a bunch more people. And the artists will get to kind of like talk a little bit about their art as we go through. Awesome. Yeah. So, you know, take take a look at the description and then hit them up. You know, it's gonna be right around the corner, a couple, yep. like a couple a weeks week away. away. Yeah. All right. So now that you've seen this wall, we got one more stop for you guys. And this is not downtown Modesto, so he's actually gonna take us to a different location. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to uh, McHenry and Stoddard, which is a graffiti wall that I kind of curate. And people will just randomly hit me up maybe once or twice a month and say like, hey, Phasm, can I come paint the wall over there off Stoddard? And I say, yes, just paint over like the right hand because that's the older stuff. So I just kind of keep track of what what's the oldest so that yeah. they can paint over it and the graffiti artists are allowed to kind of express themselves. Yeah, so the cool thing about the wall is that people don't know it's there sometimes, right? Yeah, it's kind of hidden. It's kind of hidden. So it's one of those things that if you're definitely doing a, a mural crawl where you're coming out here and you're taking a look at all the murals, you gotta hit that up. And we will have eventually another episode or maybe once you get the page, your page going and running where he's gonna have a page where it actually shows you all the hidden murals that, mm -hmm. that are all over downtown because there's some pretty cool ones that are in alleys. I mean, there's some pretty evident ones like the one on Camp 4, that's pretty pretty amazing. I believe you had something to do with that as yeah, well, I right? That one. And we just passed by one that was over by uh, Bauhaus that yeah. nobody sees because you're always driving on the other side of the of so down. one way. So yeah. one way, yeah. So where we saw that chimpanzee on the other side, there is a pretty awesome mural. Yeah, it's the saw. Forgotten Land dinosaur mural. Yeah, which is, if you have kids that are into dinosaurs, that's pretty pretty epic. So uh, we'll share that later on, so keep an keep a eye out for that. Cool. Number four, we're on Stoddard and McHenry. I think this is the last one because Aaron's bike, the e-bike's dead now, so he has to actually pedal and he's been complaining the whole time. I'm like, look, man, that's all I <laughs> No, you can't hold on to my seat. Yeah. Oh, so we're You really sold the e-bike. <laughs> right? So so uh this spot, McHenry and Stoddard. Tell us about this wall, man. Okay, so this side we have uh, kind of a bug themed wall it's super international this was done uh 2016 um and we've got a bunch of members of lord's crew we've got a bunch of members of gg crew uh we got guys from korea fresno modesto la canada new zealand we've got uh yeah guys from all over sacramento uh oakland you know myself over there so it's super international this thing has kind of like stayed as is for the last three or four years and then on the other side of the alley or the other side of uh, stoddard is a smaller alley with um paintings that are changing like once or twice a month somebody will call me up and say like hey phasm can i paint the stoddard wall and i'll say yeah just make sure you go on the left because uh, there's some brand new stuff on the right and so i just kind of keep track of like what's going on there and that's a, the cool story about that you were telling me on the way up is is the fact that there was always graffiti on that wall but tagging yeah. tagging for the most part on that wall and and it was a solution to put graffiti in, and make it art right yeah. and and have process to say okay what do we paint over and and, and now for people that live in the Stoddard area, they get to come home or they get to leave and they could just see something beautiful instead of just tagging, which is which is really, really cool. So if there's any walls that you see that are constantly being tagged, hey, yeah. call this guy up, they'll put some art up. <laughs> All right, so that's it for us today, guys. So thanks to Fun Sport Bike for letting us borrow the e-bikes. We brought them back in one piece, which is cool. We're in one piece, which is cool. <laughs> Um, so we went and we saw the on Downey the chimpanzee. We saw we were down to church skis and saw their uh, their, their patio. We went down to the the battle six wall, which uh, which 
um, they're gonna have a uh, number seven on the other side and then we're here at uh, Stoddard and McHenry so tell us more how the, can people find you how can people find out more about the event coming up here in the next week or so okay so my social media is Phasm Creative uh, Instagram Facebook all that and then the event that's coming up on October 2nd to 5th is at Domo Walls on Instagram um, so check that out you know more information coming on that and yeah. you know that's coming up real quick here so come down to 10th street check out international mural artists doing their thing yeah and at the bottom bottom line guys if you guys like what you see if you like the color on the walls and what modesto and domo are doing you got to come out and support these guys so follow phasm follow aaron follow everything that they're doing and uh, and really come out and support that way the city sees that this is what this is what the people want right yeah so, exactly. uh, but thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next episode peace